Oh, Disney, you pursue to make us happy with making your straight-to-DVD movies and horrible television shows, and now you've entered the gaming world and, and pretending to make a free-to-play game, even though it's not free-to-play. I was told by a friend that Disney's recent game that went free, Infinity, my first thought was, well, it's about time. I mean, I don't think anybody would even dare to put in money for a horde game like anything made by Disney. Just saying. So, I come to a surprising reaction that, hey, what do you know? Disney made a eh game. An eh game. An eh game. Which soon changed my mind. Disney Infinity, the free version, consists of three, three demos. Three demos. Demo. Not free. I, I kid you not. Three demos. Three completely different stories. Consists of different characters and all that crap. And I didn't even play the third one. Only played two. Two of them. First, you start off... As soon as you download the game, it forces you to start off playing as the Avengers. And you play as Iron Man. You play as Iron Man. So. You, you're you Iron Man. And you gotta stop these blue frozen giants or whatever. And, uh. So basically, you, you gotta destroy them before they destroy the Avenger Tower. Which could destroy New York City. New York City. Keep in mind. It's not even New York City. It's just 10, 20 buildings. One of them being the Avengers Tower. The other being the Empire State Building. Let me tell you something, Disney. You can't just place the Empire State Building somewhere in the world and call it New York City. That's not how it works. You have to actually go to New York City. Or... In this case, build New York City. Now, I'm not saying you have to build it exact. I'm saying build at least a good scale. 20 buildings? Buildings? Whatever? However many? And half of them aren't even skyscrapers. They're just tall-ass buildings that don't... that are nothing. There's supposed to be office buildings, apartment buildings, you know. That's what New York City's consist of, office and apartment buildings. You got the World Trade Center that just went up, so why not include the World Trade the the new World Trade Center while you're at it? Then then at least it would be actually called New York City when you include the World Trade Center cuz it's a definite mark in New York. So, anyways, continuing my rant. You play as Iron Man. You destroy these blue giant freezing things. And that's the end of that mission. Mission number one. Mission number two. I guess it's a bit of a free roam. You get to travel around, but you, you can't go out of the New York City area. You can just fly around it and as Iron Man. You can do whatever the hell you want. Except that's kind of part of another mission. Mission number two. You got to find this person or this bike. Actually, in this case, it is a bike. So you got to find this bike. And you're required to drive it to somewhere. Why can't I just fly there? 
I'm Iron Man. I can just fly. Nope, you have to drive this motorcycle to Nick Fury. So after you drive this motorcycle in a horrible driving system where you get to just knock over cars and uh, try to run over people but they, they'll move out of the way or, or actually I haven't even tried to run anybody over but great driving system. It really does suck though because you don't take any damage whatsoever when you're riding the motorcycle, but you do take damage when you accidentally fly into a building when you hit the shift bar as Iron Man. What they don't tell you is that you can fly when you hold down the space button. Not only that, the space button can be used three times. Three times. I only want to use the space bar one time, and that's to jump, not to fly. You, gotta, you, you get to press it to jump. You get to press it twice to double jump, which is understandable. And then you can hold it down to fly. Now, you don't have to hold it down 24-7 to fly. You can hold it down to go up. You can hold shift, I think, to go down. It's either shift or control. I don't remember which one. But you can press one of those buttons to go down. Actually, no, shift is to go fast, controls to go down. So control to go down, shift to go fast, space to go up. And then, of course, you can use your mouse to move around and to go left and right and whatever. Or if you want to, you can hold down the W, but that only makes you go, like, walking speed as you're flying. Literally. I, I don't want that. I want to actually be Iron Man. I want to fly around. And do something. I don't I don't want to be restricted to three missions. The third mission, you have to turn on these stupid freaking generators. I don't know what they do. Because they don't tell you. It, they just say, oh, you got to turn on these generators. And then we'll tell you what to do next. I turn on the generators. Oh, no, demo's over. Demo's over. You can't do anything else. You can't free roam stuck stuck so then I'm I go to, to the main menu they take me back to the they take me to the main menu to choose some other stupid demo and then I'm like wait what the hell wait play demo this is a demo this is when I figured out that they were demo and that they were not an actual game. Because he still got to buy the piece of shit. And then I told my friend, uh, this isn't free. This is just Disney pissing people off. Which is working. So then, I played the Spider-Man demo. And the Spider-Man demo was so bad. And so annoying. That... I couldn't I couldn't even play it. I did end up finishing it though. And then after I finished it, I uninstalled it completely cuz I didn't even want to know what the third one was. It was like the if you've seen um Guardians of the Galaxy, apparently the those guys are in it. So, wow. Avengers, Spider-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy. Good job, Disney. I thought this was Infinity, not Marvel. Because last time I checked, Disney in includes like Mickey Mouse and his crew. Whatever happened to them? Where's Mickey? Where's... Where's a uh, where's Goofy? Donald No, not is it Donald Duck? It's either Donald or Daffy. I can't remember which one because because of the Looney Tunes shit. It's like Daffy and Donald are like they're both ducks. So I get confused. So it's one of the it's Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, um 
Goofy, Daffy, I believe, or Donald, whichever one. Um, who else? Oh, not to mention every other Disney character ever made. So where's where's uh, Hercules or Pocahontas or um, God's sake Cinderella? Those are Disney characters, right? So where are they at in the game? Don't they get their own demos? I guess not. So, it's just basically Disney is hoarding out Marvel, basically. Just because they own some rights to the Marvel movies. Well, let me tell you something, Disney. Just because you own some rights to the Marvel, uh, to Marvel does not mean you can make it your bitch. Because that's basically what Disney is doing. And actually, not to mention, but Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man. Believe it or not, Sony, not Disney, Sony. Then again, who knows, Disney might own some Sony rights as well. So who knows? At the end of the story... I guess um, the only part that I didn't like about Spider-Man is that the web goes into the air and then it's called swinging of course you gotta hold down space to swing and then to let go of your web you undo the space bar which is okay and like I said the only part that I don't like about it that I completely hate about it actually in which I did figure it out because because I was I wanted to know where where did the web go? It goes straight up into the air. It just it stops after four meters. It goes up four meters and stops midair. Nope, it does not go on the buildings. Not one building. Even though it's supposed to like Spider-Man. That's unrealistic. Then again, it's Disney. Disney can fuck with the whatever they want because they're Disney. They're, they're some big shots. Some kind of big shot. You know, I'm pretty sure this isn't what Walt Disney imagined. I'm pretty sure Walt Disney would be ashamed right now due to this horrendous hoarding of the Marvel Universe and making it its bitch. I'm extremely disappointed with this Infinity demo because there's no Disney characters whatsoever even though it's Disney's Infinity. Disney. When I think of Disney, I think of hmm, I think of Wreck-It Ralph I think of Hercules. I think of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. What other movie? I think of... Um, I think of Toy Story. Because that's Disney Pixar, if I remember right. I'm sure Disney had their thing with Pixar. What else? I think of Disney characters, not Marvel characters. So then when you download Infinity, then. You download Infinity. Then. You don't get Disney. You get Marvel. And then once Star Wars gets out, are you going to add the Star Wars characters as well? And make Star Wars your bitch? I really hope not. Because then you're just destroying what most of us 
truly love. In fact, the whole world truly loves. Which is Star Wars. I assure you, you go up to one person and you ask them, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? I can assure you they will name episode 4 through 6. One of those episodes. Prequels, I don't even care, to be honest. I didn't even... I liked the prequels, like, for a little while. Then I ended up figuring out, hey, the story doesn't even make sense. Anakin's just a whiny little bitch. And, um, George Lucas kind of fucked up. So, it's kind of too late now to change it, but, oh well. So, now, all we can do is just... Take this shitty aspect of a game. Not only do they attempt to shove it down these kids' throats. I can tell you where they can stick this game. Now, I am subscribed to several reviewers who would love to say the exact same thing that I'm saying. Because, believe it or not, but this game is shit. And if you haven't figured that part out yet, try the game out. Just see how horrible this game is. I mean, it, it's stupid enough that they limit you three demos, three missions each, which is nine missions in total. You don't call that a game. You call that a useless piece of shit. I can assure you that if slash when Star Wars becomes the next shit whore... There's probably going to be a lot of riots. Because, like I said before, Star Wars is loved by a lot of people. A lot of people. Now, all those people who don't like the prequels still like the original movies. And are probably saying right now, if Disney fucks up, Episode 7. If Disney fucks up Star Wars, they'll probably riot. I, I'm not going to promise anything. That's my official prediction, to be honest. And you know what happens when I predict things. Well, everybody should know what happens when I predict things. Things happen. But not by me. Not by me by a long shot. I'm not saying that I'm going to go out and start a riot. No, that's stupid. Why would I do that? But I'm going to continue what, I, what I've been doing best. And that's providing the best review as possible. In this case, it's a shitty, angry review of a game that I was promised free. It was free, but demo. You don't just say something's free and then say, oh, it's a demo. You got to say on the website, download a free demo. I didn't see demo anywhere on that website. If you go on that website, like, after this video is published, I can assure you right now, it'll probably say demo. But there was no demo when I downloaded it. There was no nothing that said demo. All I said, or all I saw, was the words, download free today. There's no, nothing that says demo. Nothing. I could promise you that. Which brings to my next and final point. Disney sucks. I mean, seriously. The only thing that they're good at doing is making promising movies. Anim no, no, animated movies. 
I was about to say anime, but they don't do anime. They do animated cartoons and movies. That's what they're good at. Not this live action bull crap. They've never been good at live action. Not at all. Not I will say that the last good live action movie that actually recently came to DVD, actually, I don't even think it's on DVD yet. I'm not really sure. But if you if you guys have seen the new um Maleficent, I think it's called. That was a pretty decent movie. Probably one of the last decent movies that they'll ever make. They've already promoted or they've already teased a trailer about Cinderella. That's going to come out either next year or the year after. We all know that Star Wars is coming out next year, so ugh, that's going to be shit. So to mark it off right here, ending right now, Disney sucks. Thank you guys for watching. Post your reviews down in the comments. Do you agree with me? I hope you do, because Disney sucks. End of story.